Now, prostate cancer is the most common type of cancer in men. This year alone, more than 200,000 men in this country will be diagnosed with that form of cancer. Our health team, Dr. Alan Mask, is here now with news on how surgeons are using sub-zero temperatures to actually kill tumors. Maybe in the past we've talked about using intense heat to treat prostate disorders. Well, now surgeons are doing just the opposite, extreme cold for prostate cancer. It's been around for a few years now, and patients and doctors are really warming up to the results. You have a sponge, please? Hospital operating rooms are usually ice cold, but this cold? That's unusual. And the whole process is going to freeze. Surgeons at Duke Medical Center are using cryotherapy, the latest treatment for prostate cancer. We get down to very low temperatures. Minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to be exact. Using this grid and ultrasound as a guide, surgeons insert probes around the tumor site. Because you want to make sure that they're very accurately placed. Then they freeze the prostate. You can see the ice forming, killing the cancer. While the procedure is relatively new, Dr. Thomas Palasik is pleased with the results so far. Many of his patients are still cancer-free 12 to 18 months after surgery. They descend from a, from a James Gentry who... Bill Gentry is one of them. Prostate cancer runs in the genealogist's family. His three brothers had it. I'm the oldest, so it was about my turn. He had the procedure 16 months ago, and at age 79 is doing great. So far, it's been non-detectable, which is good. And we hope that it lasts a lifetime. But what if it does come back? This is one of the few forms of treatment where you can go back and retreat the prostate. Gentry isn't worried about that right now. He's more interested in mapping out his family tree. If the cancer returns, he says he'll have the treatment again and get on with the rest of his life. I'm going to live for another 20 years or so. I, I don't want to be bothered by cancer during that time. Now, possible side effects are similar to other prostate cancer treatments, including incontinence and impotence. Researchers continue to study the results of cryotherapy, but early studies show 97% of cryosurgery patients were still cancer-free after 12 months. And, of course, this is an alternative to the traditional surgical removal of the gland and also for those who prefer to avoid radiation. Very good. Dr. Mass, thank you. Good.